The 2013 NBA Draft, an annual assemblage and rite of passage for the world's best basketball prospects. Welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For the final time in his historic tenure, David Stern lorded over the evening ceremony. Before walking onto the stage, Stern stood with a European teenager and patiently practiced the pronunciation of his name. Giannis Adetokounmpo. They'd call Giannis Adetokounmpo simply the greatest draft story ever told. From the Woj Pod, this is the Giannis Draft. The NBA's 30 teams often spend several years evaluating young players before they ever become eligible to enter the league's draft. Late in 2012, front offices began to learn of the existence of Giannis Antetokounmpo. I can remember the day extremely clearly because at that time Jeff Weltman was working with me in Milwaukee, and I remember Jeff saying, "Hey, John, there's a." Uh, young player in Athens that's really gathering a lot of attention right now. We should probably go see him. You heard his name and there wasn't much film. What you could find was really grainy, but it was certainly someone that was intriguing. I was improving, I was getting uh, I was getting better. I would always wanted to play in the NBA. Would you get nervous when they would tell you there were NBA scouts, executives in the stands? Yeah, the first time I was nervous, second time I was nervous. Then I was like, okay, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep, you know, doing my thing. The kid walks out and it's like, wow, he's bigger than you realize. And look how big his hands are. And wow, like, look, like the stroke doesn't look that bad. I got a phone call and they called me and said, we have the next Magic Johnson. As the draft approached, the Atlanta Hawks became increasingly obsessive and clandestine in the pursuit of Giannis. The Hawks committed to choosing a Tenacumpo with their first available pick on draft night, and on Giannis's trip to New York, there would be a stop, Atlanta. And the Hawks didn't want anyone in the world to know. They told me to go by myself. I was like, no, no way, I'm going with my brother. He walked into the arena, it was dark, and the joy that he had and the excitement, the energy that he walked in there with was like, you know, wow, this is gonna be my life. I'm gonna play in places like this. I'm gonna be here living in America, the, you know, playing in the best league in the world. His eyes were almost water. The visit couldn't have gone any better. Only one question remained. Would Giannis Antetokounmpo make it to the Atlanta Hawks on draft night? Atlanta owned two picks behind Milwaukee at 15. With the first pick, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett, Victor Oladipo, Nerlens Noel. He kept falling. It looked like it was going to work out and get to us. Trey Burke, Stephen Adams. We heard early on when Milwaukee was on the clock that that's who they were going to take. And didn't want to believe it. With the 15th pick. This might be, you know, this is it, this is it. The Milwaukee Bucks select. I'm like, no, this, until I hear my name, you know? Giannis Adetokounmpo. Everything is like slow motion. Walking down the stairs and I'm like, that's the moment my life changed. The whole room just was flat, including me. The emotion and the energy out in that room was crushed. Here it comes. For more on this, let's welcome in ESPN senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski. His three-part series on Giannis's rise to prominence is available now on his podcast, The Woj Pod. Adrian, what made Giannis's selection at 15 in the 2013 draft so unusual? Well, consider the fact that in late June, when he uh, is in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, seven and a half months earlier, there wasn't a team in the NBA who had ever heard of him. He went from being completely off the global map uh, to all of a sudden on the brink of the NBA lottery. And the process leading up uh, in those months is just one of the most unique, mysterious, enigmatic, 
and, and you know, we take uh, the listener through that uh, process. Remember, uh, this was a historically weak draft. When you look back, the number one overall pick in this draft, Anthony Bennett in Cleveland. And I think basketball fans remember how that turned out. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.